Well, well, well. Isn't this embarrassing? A hundred hours on this silly little crab game, and I know most of you are looking at me funny, but I don't blame you. It's like out of all the games to get a hundred hours on, who would pick the game where you play as a crab? With a gun and shoot other crabs to assert your dominance. Killing to the death to become the king of crabs. Yeah, who sounds stupid now? Well... Me, but I know someone liking this game boils down to things like the gameplay and the progression. If you're new to this game, I would recommend watching my other reviews first because I'm not going to explain the basic stuff. These reviews have a bit of a progression to them, but you can wait until the end of the video or check the description for those reviews, whatever you want to do. But goddamn, a hundred hours. Can you believe that? I've been playing this game for about a year now, and I feel like that makes it pretty obvious that I've been having a pretty good experience overall. I just didn't expect things to get this far. I got into a little routine of playing this game daily, and even if I wasn't playing this game, you better believe your boy was collecting them coins and getting rich. It's called being smart, you should try it sometime. But me being such a genius with my coins and how I grinded this game, I've achieved so much that I can flex on all of you who most likely don't play this game, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. But first, check out something I said in my last review for this game. One of my goals before getting to my 100 hour review is to max out all of the legendary crabs. I think the highest level for a crab is 50, and my legendary crabs aren't far from it. At around 60 hours, yeah, well guess what? I did that. All the strongest crabs in the game, max stats at max level, and even their special moves are maxed out. Nobody can fuck with me. And guess what else I got? Every single hat in the game and they're all maxed out. That's what I mean, just none of you can fuck with me and I love it. I also grinded for all this. I put my blood, sweat, and jizz into this game and none of you can take that away from me. Well, I did spend like three bucks a long time ago, but that doesn't really count. I was also fortunate enough to grind this game a year ago back when this game was less monetized and less grindy. I'm pretty sure it'd be harder to get certain currencies or items nowadays, but at least you have the battle pass to make up for it. I never really bought the battle passes because I felt like I grinded this game for free very efficiently, and I'm kind of dedicated to not spending much money on this game. Unless I see something genuinely cool and worth buying, I might consider it, but I doubt it. The monetization can be annoying because I have to wait to unlock the most recent crab whenever they come out, and they made it so you need to unlock magnets with pearls instead of coins. This makes magnets much harder to get, and I bet they thought I wouldn't notice, but I did. And I'm pissed. And man, look how many lives I got. It basically feels like I have unlimited lives. That's one of the things that comes with the grind because look what I get in this game supply drop. I pretty much just get lives. You can sprinkle some boosters in there, but anything else like a skin is really rare. I, uh, I guess that's one of the struggles of, uh, being so successful in this free-to-play crab game. But things like that do feel rewarding after putting in so much time. Things like the golden viking helmet, some cool skins, your rank, the level of your crabs, and just your overall progression. At 100 hours, I got to the rank Crab Emperor. There's only two more full ranks above me, which is Crab Legend and Crab God. I feel like it would take another 100 hours to get to Crab God because it does get pretty grindy once all of your crabs are a high level. The only other thing I need to do besides max out all of my crabs is max out a few more important skill points and then I'll feel like I'm on top of the world. I basically have everything I need, there's just a few more goals until I feel like my job is done. There's a really big goal that could potentially double my playtime, and along with me wanting to get Crab God, I might want to max out every single crab. Trust me, you don't know how extreme that is, but I'ma be honest, it all depends if my friend continues to enjoy this game. My motivation has already gone down a lot compared to my first 50 hours. Nowadays, I have the most fun playing with a friend, so we'll have to wait and see if I really pull through and complete these insane long-term goals. I doubt it though. 
Even if I don't, I still plan on making other videos on this game. I wanted to make a tips and tricks video, or maybe a video on which crabs are the best, maybe even a tier list. This might not even be the last review if I finish those long term goals. At this point, I've made so many videos on this game that I'm making a playlist for King of Crabs so you can check in the description for that. They still update this game every few months which is cool because every update has a good amount of content like a new crab or a new game mode or nowadays a new battle pass. But I still wish there was a little something in between those updates, like mini updates, but I guess that third game mode can be cool. There's really not much for me to complain about that I haven't complained about already. I've got to such a point in the game where I'm very comfortable. The only things I can think to complain about is sometimes the server can lag, or even worse, you can just be in a loading screen forever and just have to restart. But overall, King of Crabs is a casually fun game I don't have to put too much effort into to have a good time. I would play casually and consistently. I got into a routine of collecting my coins, completing quests, leveling up my crabs, and ranking up until I got to 100 hours of playtime, and that's where we're at. I hope you guys enjoyed me sharing my experience all the way up to this point. If you've watched all of my King of Crabs reviews, you have to be in a very special minority that I appreciate very much. All of these reviews are also connected in some kind of way, so that's what I would want. But it's been quite a journey with King of Crabs, and I know I'll make another video on it. But let's see if I have that one final review in me. If not, it's been good, King of Crabs. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did, because I need some type of validation for how much I committed to this game. Drop a comment with any opinion you might have, and yes, you can call me crazy for having 100 hours on this game. Don't forget to subscribe if you've been enjoying the content. You can check on the screen or in the description for my other King of Crabs videos. But thank you guys for watching this entire video. That really is one of the best ways you can support me. And I hope I'll see you guys in one of those other videos. And don't forget to keep it crabby. Peace.